Howdy, my name is John Henderson and today we'll be looking at converting higher level functions into assembly MIPS functions. So here we have a function written in C um, and we're going to try to translate it into a MIPS assembly function. So the first thing you'll notice is that there's an array declared in this function so we have to declare that in the memory section of our MIPS function. So in order to do that we will first create the data section. This is where you create all of the portions of your code that will be in your memory. To create an array simply type array followed by a colon and then specify the data type. For integer, uh, integer arrays we use data type word. After you've finished completing that you need to move on to the portion of your code where you will actually write the function that's separated to the text section then you have your main function so the first thing that we need to do is to uh, declare a couple variables, integer variables here. We see int i and int nums equals 6, so we can do the command load immediate. We can put this in t9, temporary register 9. Then we do load immediate again, put this in temporary register 0. This is for int i. then we need to so now we have a for loop and we need to look at the ith component or element rather of this array and then call a compare function so in order to, first we need to get the address <coughs> excuse me of this uh, array so we'll do load address put it in t1 array and this the base address of the array next we use the command jump and link which basically saves the program counter to the current instruction plus four or basically at the next instruction and then it jumps to a target register. In this case we're going to jump to the loop which I have not written yet. I'll write that next. So for our loop we're going to <coughs> compare the size of i to make sure it's less than 10 so we can continue. We need to, now we need to allocate room on the stack so we can save the return address and any arguments because we're going to have to jump to another subroutine. Uh, namely the compare and sub subroutine. So we'll add immediate stack pointer to push back, store the return address on the stack. Next we need to
You need to calculate calculate the appropriate address from T3. Sorry, T0. T0 contains i, and we're using it as an index, so we have to multiply it by 4. Then we create a new array index i. and add it to the base of the array. Now we can basically load that value into T4. And we need to set our arguments because we're about to jump to a another function. So the A registers are used for uh, arguments. Jump and link. Compare. So for compare, we need to add immediate to the stack pointer to allocate more space so we can save our return address before we mess it up again. Next, we need to call the sub subroutine. Which does the following. Simply subtracts the two arguments and returns. After we call the sub function we need to compare but first we need a pop from the stack and next we need to compare to see if the argument is less than zero or greater than zero return 1 or 0. So now that we've finished writing this, we can go back to our loop and finish writing that. So after we compared, we need to pop from the stack again. And we need to store a word, which is our result, basically, it back into the array 
in memory. So once we've once we finish with the loop, we need to well for the purposes of verification, we need to basically print the new array because it's doing a comparison. And we need to basically it's gonna if the number in the array is less than six, it prints ze uh zero. And if it's sorry, if it's less than six it prints one. If it's greater than six it prints zero. So we need to, if the number is less than 6, it prints 1. If it's greater than 6, it prints 0. So we're going to print out a new array of the same length and then see what the values are to make to verify the program is working correctly. So in order to print, first we need to move our arguments and call the syscall for printing. So right now I'm moving the arguments to a temporary, moving the results to a temporary register so I can print it. And I loop until all the values are printed out. Okay, that should be. That should be the end of writing this. Let's let's compile it or assemble it rather. Oop. Exit. Oh right, we need, need, I forgot to write an exit routine. So this is pretty standard exit call here. So it compiled one. Is one is less than six, so it gets a one. Three is less than six, it gets a one, and so on and so forth. Until we get to nine, twelve, twelve, thirty-four, eighty-nine are all greater than six, so they get zeros. And then three is less than six, so it gets a one. So we verified the program is running correctly.